Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. We just arrived to Cebu in Romania, which is right like in the center of the country of Romania. Uh, this city is known for its food. It's a gastronomy capital of Romania. And so today we're gonna walk around, we're gonna eat some food, we're gonna go to the old town, and then we're not totally sure of the plan, but we're just gonna go along and explore this city. And so this morning we're starting at the market and I believe that smoke just pouring out from above, from down the road there, is where we're gonna eat first. And the closer we get, the more meatier, smokier it smells. We're just in this cloud of smoke coming up. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I can't wait. This is gonna be the, oh, this is the breakfast I wanna be eating in Cebu. Oh, that's a, a grill of wonders. That is a, a monstrous grill of meat. It's like a, it's like a couple meters long, and just the coals are. It's full, absolutely full of meat, and the smoke is pouring there, fixing those coals. But as that fatty meat drips down, it's just fueling that fire. Now they're constantly like putting out the flames. Oh, that's a, that is a grill of beauty, a meat grill of beauty for breakfast. Actually, you have to get in line here to pay and to order. And then you, I mean, they're grilling the, they're grilling the meat here too, but they not only have michi, right? Meat, which is the, the kebabs, but they also have, looks like some whole like steaks and sausages and, oh man, that smells unbelievable. <laughs> This is a Romanian meat heaven. <laughs> because so you get, this is the payment, and, and they give you plates and bread. Yep, and, and that's mustard. mustard. And I was staying in the line. In the next line, <laughs> get the meat directly from the grill. Yeah. And you buy, then you get in line again to get your meat right off the grill so it's hot and fresh and you know it's fresh. I mean, it's, it's as fresh as possible. Oh, a lot of people here this morning. Yeah. Uh, the michi usually, they are eaten with uh, with a beer next by, but I think it's a little bit earlier yeah. to have a beer. But there are quite a lot of people in line drinking beer. <laughs> there are definitely a lot of people. It wouldn't be quite uh, unusual, so... <laughs> He just like cooks them in just like a, a cloud of smoke and cooks them until they're blackened, darkened on the edges. Um, and then you just, I mean, you gotta wait, but you get it right off the grill, fresh, hot. They're making your meat dreams come alive. <laughs> Oh. That's for us. And then they have some seating here too. They have some tables. Yeah, we have some seating, but we don't yeah, we have We can sit right here. It's fine. One. Okay, that's okay. We'll just do on this side. Look. On foot. Something that's interesting is that the Michi. Oftentimes in Romania, it's it, made with pork, pork right? Yep, yeah, yeah, but, but this, this one, one is unique, made yeah. only with yeah. with veal. Veal. Yep. So this is unique, maybe Cebu style. Okay, so I, I'm really curious. <laughs> okay, that you I'm gotta gonna, go I'm for it, man. It, so. <laughs> yes, dip it in the mustard. Wow. <laughs> A lot different than the usual stuff. Awesome. Different style. Okay, I can't right. wait. I cannot wait any longer. And by the way, I just like, I'm completely bathed in Michi smoke right now. Whoever smells me is gonna get hungry just from the aroma on my jacket. I'll just try it first before adding mustard just to get the pure taste of it. But that texture, that's something you'll notice about Michi is that texture. It's so bouncy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievable. You cannot believe the salty, oily juiciness that's coming out of this. And like, what's amazing, this is a totally new, unique meat, Romanian meat item. I mean, it's not a kebab, it's not a burger, it's its, it's totally own unique thing. Yeah, that's stunning. With mustard, it will be really good too. Mm. 
It's like a sweet, kind of like a sweet and slightly spiced mustard. Oh. No, it's the beer. Ah, do you want to try it more? Oh man. <laughs> Thank okay, you, Najim. That, that's the combination. Mark. <laughs> that's the I combination. didn't want it because it's a little bit earlier. So, but no. It's the perfect combination with meat is a beer. Yeah. And if you look around, most people are having a morning beer. <sighs> yeah. Because the meat, I think, because they're so salty. Yeah. Then with that's the beer, that, combination. that's yeah. That is the that is some serious beer meat. <laughs> That's meat heaven. Mm. The texture. Okay, and next up, I'm just gonna go sit down. Next up, we got this sausage, Romanian sausage. Look at the, the length of this sausage. You have to back the camera up to even get a full, full view of how long it is. That's definitely half a meter. Not quite half a meter, but... <laughs> Break a piece of this guy. There's a bit down, just like some oil just squeezed out, or just squirted out. Mm, that's delicious too, it's so smoky. It's so fatty. That's just like, you can feel oil on your fingers and it's just, that's ultra flavor. But it's actually all about the Michi. That's just the, the true gem of this place, the true highlight. And these are just fatty, oily, supreme, like unbelievable fatty meatiness. <laughs> and just because the heavy, I mean, it has to be like the heavy fat content and then that dripping down, that's what creates so much smoke. As you, if you watch them grilling, that poof, that cloud of smoke, but that's what like just embeds into every bite you take. You want some bread? I love this location, kind of in an empty lot. There's some kind of auto mechanic stuff happening. There's an empty trailer, whoa. Um, but just the, thank you, nice to meet you. <laughs> just the people that come here are cool too. Um, and it's just a community. When you, when you come here, people are greeting each other. You know they're regulars, and definitely if I lived here, I would be a regular here too, but that was cool. Man, that is, that is the heavenly meat breakfast of your dreams. One more goodbye to that puff, that cloud of smoke and smoky meat. Ah, feeling alive. <laughs> We're gonna drive back to the old town of Cebu and walk around the, the old town, the old city. Michi, that's the type of food that you have to walk around. You've gotta do some exercise after you eat them. I mean, of course, you could just easily lay down for the rest of the day, but it's better to walk around. Uh, so we're gonna walk around the old town and just kinda get some of the, the sights and get a feel for Cebu. This is the public main square of Cebu. It's actually a huge, like, central courtyard area with the Cebu Parliament. I believe that's a church over there, but it's a... Uh, it's a huge space, very festive. It's not so busy right now at this time of the day, but I'm sure in the evening and also on holidays and the weekends, it's packed. Um, and they also said on the summer, it's also very packed. It's nice, there's cafes and restaurants all around as well. We just walked around and came to this small market um, and he is selling right at the front some different Romanian desserts and sweet snacks. And that one is so cool. It, it does, it does immediately. Yeah, of my childhood. Ah. Some of the desserts, my mother used to make it when, when we were a child. So awesome. I really want you to try it. Okay, and it does, it does remind you, as soon as you look at it, like a salami. And it is actually called a biscuit salami. Biscuit salami, what a name. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like a dense chocolate cake, but like biscuity. It's like bread with chocolate all the way inside. 
Mm. It's good. I, I, it's, yeah, it's really not too sweet. I kind of like a chocolate bread. This is a cool market. Very friendly. There's like souvenirs, but also Romanian food and Romanian food products and food utensils. And so we came across uh, they're selling cheese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. We've walked now to an iconic bridge that, it's actually, it's not over a river, it just overpasses the road, but a bit of a photo modeling shoot is taking place behind us. But you do kind of have a perspective, you see the church, the steeple, you see that, um, the clock tower from the main square, from this whole area, and then it's all overlooking an overpass of the, of the road. Stopping for a quick coffee in the, the main public square. <laughs> coffee, much needed coffee from here. We're gonna climb to the top and get a view over the, the central area of Old Town Cebu. All right. Oh, so there's no fee or anything, you just go up? Yep. Cool. Come up the circular s ancient staircase, very medieval. Very cool. Okay, okay, they do, do pay a fee once you get to the first floor. It's a watchtower of the gate of Cebu. So it's like a lookout, lookout medieval lookout tower. <laughs> Perfect. Before taking the lunch. Yes. Oh. We made it to the top. Ah, wasn't too, too bad, but you do, you do get a little workout if you just take it straight. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice views all over the city from here, but it is encased in with a window. We're walking through the streets again, another little market, a little local market at the base of the church. Like there's some vegetables, there's some baked goods and some pickled things and also some honey. Merci. Yes. Did you miss the zakuska? <laughs> <laughs> An amazing lady with some pickled, all these homemade like pickled ah, ingredients and zakuska. Zakuska, cheers. Zakuska, cheers. Oh yeah. Mm. yeah. You gotta have a zakuska every day in Romania. Jam. Um, Sweet chili jam. Yute. Wow. Okay, a spicy chili. Oh yeah. It's more like jam with a little bit of a chili flavor. That's like sweet chili. She has so many amazing just home style pickled goods. Uh, this one is pickled horseradish. Oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Oh that's good horseradish. And you feel that. <laughs> yes. She's an amazing lady. Thank you. Thank you. She is, she is precious, she is so special. And she said she, um, she's been pickling all her life. And she is, she, even, she said she won a gold medal for her pickles. Yeah, and beautiful. you have to try this. Okay. You didn't try it until oh, yeah. now. Here, I have a spoon, she can. No, 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 it's, uh, okay. it's for drinking. <laughs> yeah? Is it alcoholic? No. Nope. No. No. Okay. No. 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 You'll ever have. No, 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 Made by grandma herself. What an amazing lady. Mmm. Wow. Yes, that is delicious. 
and now we've walked over to a restaurant where they made arrangement for us to come for lunch, which is called Restaurant Jules or Jules, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but wow, it is pretty cool. It's in an old courtyard here. Locally, lots of pasta. And this is sort of a. It's a modern Cebu, Transylvanian, Romanian restaurant, uh, but it's a really nice setting in this courtyard. They have, I like that their menu is not too extensive, they just have a few specialty dishes starting out with some bread, and you can just see the sponginess of that bread with, it is truffle butter. Oh, that was bread. Mmm, the butter. So that bread, that sponginess is, Remarkable. Maybe tortellini? Never mind. We're starting with a few starters. Uh, one is a beetroot tartare, and then one is a tortellini. But yeah, so this restaurant is kind of a fusion Cebu, but I think this is really why Cebu flourishes as a food destination, because of the influence, because of the, the fusion of cultures here. Mm. That's like a... It's like a carrot or a pumpkin puree or something. Okay, and then the next dish is a beetroot tartare. Really nicely designed with different vegetables. There's herbs on top. There's um, sunflower seeds, I believe. Wow. With a thick foundation of cheese on the bottom. You got the sweetness of the beet, a bit of like crunch on there, and the, the sunflower seeds. Okay. Main courses have arrived. This one is the lamb, right? Yeah, this one is the lamb, and this is quite, quite artful plating. That's a huge plate, actually. Uh, some pieces of lamb. There's some kind of a, a vegetable medley on the bottom, and some kind of a, a black paste on the bottom. Start with a piece of the lamb. There's some greens, lots of vegetables, and I'm not sure what is that paste, but I will have some. Mmm. The paste is kind of like smoky tasting. It's kind of bitter and smoky. Okay, and then the next dish that we got is a trout dish. And it looks like it's been seared off. There's some um, some vegetables on the bottom and then some kind of a sauce with that green oil. So I will take a piece of the, oh, that fish looks fantastic. Um, well, it kind of just crumbles all into the bottom there. So you almost you need a spoon actually. Come on. That tastes like a dill oil, maybe. Mm. That fish is good, and it's kind of like a cream dill flavor to the whole dish. Now, see, Miss is about to feed me this. <laughs> what it is? Oh, whoa! <laughs> Bring it back. It's like a poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a poof of lamb. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's lamb. That's definitely a lamb ball. From here, also, that we wanted to taste some of the traditional uh, Romanian food from Cebu. So we're gonna go to another restaurant just to have a few more dishes, uh, which is right in the old town here. Come downstairs, a flight of stairs into the basement, and it's kind of like a cellar restaurant. This is cool, very cool. And they specialize in traditional Romanian food from this region, and so we're just gonna stop here to try a couple of dishes. It's such a cool restaurant, even the chairs are traditional Romanian style, the wooden chairs. I love these plates. Look at that plate with holes around it. Um, but yeah, it's really like a cellar underground restaurant and it has a very cool atmosphere. I like this place. He said wait for the soup for the bread or something. And the waiter is, he's friendly, but he's like joking constantly, like traditional joking. Like he told me, make sure I don't touch the plate. Or he said, you'll see what happens but I don't think anything happened. <laughs> Luckily. Yeah, just in Vina, which are my Vina. Sarmalem. 
this? This one is polenta and what is this one? This is polenta with cheese and sour cream. Ah, it's calling okay. balus. So two types of polenta? Yes. Okay. This is only the corn, salt and water and the okay. other one I told you is with uh, extra. sour cream and uh, okay. cheese. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Do you want a separate place for that? Is that? Do you want a separate place for that? Oh, that's okay. For meat rolls. We got a couple dishes to share, but we've already eaten some, so we didn't order a huge feast, but some of their special dishes. And this is exactly my type of food. I love the presentation, the traditional style, the recipes. Um, to begin with, I got a soup, which they called on the menu, they called it the peasant soup, which is a mix of vegetables. There's carrots, there's, I think there's noodles in here as well. No, no, those are peas. Um, and then some peppers, and then it just looks like a simple, just wonderful vegetable medley. Mm. That's just simple, that's vegetables, good vegetables, the sweetness of the carrots, the crunch of the cabbage, the peas in there. These are beautiful cabbage rolls, Transylvanian cabbage rolls with a big chunk of pork on the side. Um, maybe cut it. Oh, oh, it's so tender. That's just slice, you don't need a knife, just a spoon. Oh, oh nice. Oh, I love cabbage rolls. On the menu it said stuffed with meat. I think it might be pork. Oh, uh huh. What I like is that it's thick layers of cabbage. A lot of cabbage. With a, I mean that layer of meat on the inside. And then you taste the pepper. It's like a sweet, actually black pepper, but like fruity tasting black pepper, like whole peppercorns in there. Oh man, and that just like juices, the cabbage juices and the meat juices are just completely combined and just mingled. Those are spectacular, really extraordinarily good. And just don't take like a half a cabbage roll in your mouth at one time when it's right out of the, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The final dish we got here, this is a, a shepherd's stew with lamb and I believe peppers and onions and polenta. And that polenta is cooked with sour cream and cheese and it's rich and hearty this looks delicious as well and yeah that combination you need a bit of everything on one bite mm. Mm. it's like meat steaks though with that like rich heavy meaty kind of like tartly tomatoey onion stew and then that polenta Wow, the richness of it, you taste the sour cream, you taste the, the cheese in there, and then you get a bit of that crunch of the cornmeal. But it's almost like a really, really rich mashed potato. Mm. That's delicious as well. Definitely a little more heavy and rich than the cabbage rolls. But both are really good. The food is so really like home tasting. Very good, yes. Thank you. Awesome food. But this is the highlight dish for me, the cabbage rolls. Get a little bit more of that bacon. That giant chunk of bacon on this bite. Oh, that bacon. Or ham. Bacon. As soon as you bite down on that cabbage, like pork dishes just squeeze out. Mm. That's wonderful. That was a spectacular meal. I love the location in the cellar, the staff, shout out to the staff, staff are really friendly. And that's just like straight home cooked food. That's the meal I was hoping for in Cebu. Um, so I'm glad we stopped by there. Highly recommended when you're in Cebu. And that completes this food tour of Cebu. I wanna say a huge thank you to Nasim and Christian for taking me around. By sh for, for sure the highlight of the day was the Mitch in the morning for breakfast. Uh, but it was an entire great day. And I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so you immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.